good morning and welcome back to Adventures with Rosie and today we opened our fridge this morning and what did we find in our fridge Harvey? Ants! Ants! How many ants? Oh many! Our fridge is full of ants for some reason, check this out. So I'm not entirely sure where these ants are coming from. Um, I have a feeling we picked some up when we were in uh, Kennedy Park staying under that tree there. There were loads of ants crawling around on the ground. They look like they're coming up from the cupboard below the fridge, up in and in, th around in the fridge seal. So um, might have to wipe the bottom of the fridge out, I think, and then maybe see if they're coming in from underneath. Because <laughs> we put some bait out this morning, but uh, the numbers just like quadrupled since we got up. So yeah, got to figure out where they're coming from. It looks like they're definitely coming and going via a hole somewhere. I can see them running along this black pipe and then up and under where the fridge goes. So there must be a hole that's not quite sealed enough where they're coming and going. I think our best bet's going to be to poison them. So I don't know a lot about ants, but I have a feeling down here, these white things here that you can kind of just see, I think those are ant eggs. Kind of white hard things. So. There we go, here's our focus. Yeah, I think those are ant eggs, so that can't be helping. <laughs> Looks like they're nesting in the fridge. So I just pulled the fruit drawers out of the fridge and I noticed that a lot of these ants over here are already dead, so hopefully they're carrying the poison back down through this gap here to wherever they're nesting. Hmm, I think I might get the vacuum cleaner out and demolish all these ants. On the subject of vacuum cleaners, we've been trying to figure out a good way to keep the floor are clean in this caravan because we find when we go out and about you're in and out all day Harvey's in and out shoes on shoes off you know and it doesn't take long before this floor is covered in sticks and dirt and we tried one of those um sort of mop you know the mop heads you put uh you clip a cloth into and it's all good I mean it's it's good for mopping but for getting all that initial stuff out we're finding like you crawl around with a little brush probably not ideal so it occurred to us we actually have an old Dyson vac that um, it's a few years, well, quite a few years old now that's been sitting around in storage and we stopped using it because the main head broke. I stripped the motor, actually the motor shaft out of the main head of the vacuum cleaner. But I'm thinking if I tidy this up and use the smaller head, this is very compact um, and probably really easy just to put under a seat somewhere and keep in rosy. I mean, it does only charge off um, 240 volts so we can't charge it off 12 volt but if we just charge it whenever we have full hookups and leave it sitting under the seat might be a really good option so I'm gonna give it a bit of a clean up and then uh, deal to those ants Got them all out of the fridge, vacuumed it all out. I got some bait set now. <laughs> so hopefully kill them off. And then I open the freezer uh, just as a matter of interest and they are everywhere in the freezer. I feel like all afternoon I've been like, uh, they've been crawling all over me. Um, yeah, I guess they just moved from the fridge to the freezer. So I'm probably gonna set some bait in there and tidy that out as well. So another slightly strange thing and I'd be super interested to know if other Jayco owners or other RV owners have had this, but um, when we left Napier the other day, we left with a full gray tank. There was nowhere at that NZMCA parked empty the gray tank. We had sleeping kids in the car, so I thought I'll just empty it when we get over the hill back to Topor. Um, what ended up happening was gray water came up through the shower um, and there were bits of food and we kind of use the shower sometimes to store a bit of like washing and washing baskets. Harvey's scooter goes in the shower sometimes like we use it as kind of an area to transport stuff and um, And we just came back to like you could clearly smell that grey water had been coming into this bathroom Through that shower it hadn't gone on the floor or anything But it really stunk in here and the bottom of all our washing and everything was just covered in quite stinky grey water. So 
I'm not quite sure we've got uh, this caravan is going in for a service in about a month's time. Yeah, just under a month's time. And so I might get them to have a look at it. I would assume that the there would be a one-way valve or something through, I'm not a plumber, but you know, some sort of one-way valve to stop gray water coming back up through your sink plugs, but uh, obviously not. So I have a feeling as well, and I'm about to go and check under the tank, but I have a feeling that um, where the pipe from the shower feeds into the gray tank, it doesn't go directly into the top of the gray tank, but into the side. So if the gray tank is say, it might not be reading full on the gauge because it's actually not full, but it's pretty full and actually going past that inlet, I suppose, where the pipe goes into the shower. Um, and I have a feeling that I'm thinking, oh yeah, we've got a quarter of a tank left. Like we can have a couple of showers, but in fact, we probably don't because of where, you know, how far up the tank that that pipe feeds in. I'm gonna go and check it out now just to see if my, uh, my theory is correct. Well, that plumbing's a little bit odd, a little bit, um, worse than I was expecting to be honest. Basically the shower's in the back right hand corner of this uh, caravan and there's a pipe that goes across the back and so across the width of the caravan then it comes forward and it actually meets at like a T joint uh, meets with the sink and those feed pretty much into the bottom of the tank not higher up and I guess it's all to do with the fall of the plumbing. I'm not quite sure why the pipe doesn't go straight from the right into the right hand side of the tank. I'm not sure why it comes all the way across, down, and then in, because obviously you need some fall on that pipe to drain the water. But as a result, it actually pumps that water straight into the bottom of the tank. So what I'm thinking is, I guess with all that weight, when that tank's half full, it's gonna struggle to push shower water in and fill that tank up, you know, once you've got that weight in there. So it's probably explains why a few times we've um, had three quarter full gray tank and we've gone, we've got enough left for one shower or two showers, and then we wonder why the shower's slow, so slow to drain. Um, and I'm guessing that's just because it's it's hitting a wall of water when it reaches the tank. Bit of a strange design. I don't know if anyone plumbing wise, anyone with any plumbing know how could explain that to me. I did also spot a white filter inline HEPO. I think it says HEPO on it. Um, I'm not sure if that's the one way valve I'm looking for, just more of like a smell trap, but I'm not sure if anyone can help me out with that below as well. That would be super handy. Like I said, when we go in to get our three month service, I might get it checked out. Um, seems strange to route all the water that way, then down that way, rather than just straight into the side of the tank. I'm, I'm not too sure why it's like that. Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie. Today, we're finally gonna give you a tour of our new Jayco Journey Caravan. <laughs> 